after having understood the importance of ITU with regards to the evolution of next generation networks, it is now important to also look at other players. In this module, we should look at the role which is played by Internet Society and a specific part of Internet Society known as the Internet Engineering Task Force. We should look at how different aspects of Internet working are covered by IETF. Internet Society as a non-governmental organization that takes care of the interests of the internet working community with regards to the advancement in protocol design, technology upgradation, and user requirements. Internet Engineering Task Force, one of the major and important roles of Internet Society, is mainly concerned with documentation of the standards which are to be implemented and adopted by various vendors and other organizations. To begin with, the IETF recommends an internet draft needs, which needs to be submitted to the IETF community in every conference that takes place either biannually or once a year. The internet draft, as we shall see, goes through a review and critique process and eventually it becomes the request for comment. Request for comment is essentially a de facto standard which is to be then used for subsequent deployment and commissioning. Most of the well-known protocols in the TCP IP protocol stack are based on RFCs. These RFCs are basically archivable documents. It means once these documents have been created, these cannot be modified. If some major revision is to be done, it has to be submitted through a new process of creating an internet draft and getting it approved as a new RFC. Let's look at the Internet Society as an organization. A famous quote by Dave Clark in 1992 that we reject kings, presidents, and voting. We believe in rough consensus and a running code. It is such a beautiful description of how the Internet Society works. As you can see here, Internet Society manages multiple sub-departments. For instance, we have the Internet Architecture Board that continuously works on the advancement and promotion of architecture-related activities which go on all over the world. This IAB manages two sub-departments, the Internet Engineering Task Force and Internet Research Task Force. The Internet Engineering Task Force is all related to engineering. It primarily deals with Internet Engineering Steering Group as a body that manages multiple working groups, whereas each working group works in a specific area. We'll now see which of these areas are mainly adopted by the IETF. As a by-the-way comment on the role of Internet Research Task Force, it works in parallel to the Internet Engineering Task Force and is mainly concerned with some of the ongoing research. But since ISOC is more related to, as it was said, running code, so Internet Engineering Task Force becomes naturally more relevant and more dominant activity and a major partner in ISOC. The working groups, which are defined under the IETF, work in different layers. We can consider them to be working on the five layers in the TCP IP protocol stack. And then there are some additional planes as well. For instance, the management plane, the security plane, and the operations plane. Here, this is from 2013, ITF working group status. Some of the well-known areas are the transport layer, the internet, operations and management, routing and security. I have been working in 6 low pan which is shown to you here in the internet. 